I'm Oxy Griffin and this is a quick post for Sexual Futurist uh, and this is actually a reply to one of their more recent uh, videos about uh, a lot of things and it's and it was about invalidation really. I had a friend a couple of years ago at TAFE, that's college for uh, a lot of American viewers and she was basically growing out of my side at one point. One of our mates jokingly gave us a crowbar award, which was um, for couples who could never be separated. Now, what basically happened was my friend was a militant lesbian, and she attended a group called Pride and Diversity, which was a youth group here in Glen Waverley for GLBTQ kids. And basically, as time wore on and we spent more time together, her male homosexual friends uh, in the group uh, started getting very curt with her, very annoyed, and basically in so many words at one point, when she was living with me as a housemate, uh, accused me of being in a sexual relationship with her. And you'd think they'd be a little more tolerant. And it took me a lot of self-examination to realize it's a case of invalidation. Suddenly, the certainty that they had that my friend was into girls and she helped validate that they could be into guys and everybody validated each other was falling apart. And your subconscious mind makes decisions based on what it already knows. It's the ultimate financial analyst. And even if what it knows is not beneficial to you, it knows that you've lived this long with it, so it's stable, and you can make decisions from it. So your subconscious mind goes with what you do know. That's why people self-sabotage so badly, because they simply don't know about a good situation that's staring them in the face, because their subconscious mind throws a hissy fit. Now, I've also seen with another friend of mine that when some lesbians find out that their girlfriend or potential girlfriend or the girl they're um, hitting on in a bar used to be a guy, they will react very badly because they're used to, because all their lives have had people saying, well, have you tried being with a man? And it's like, it's like a kid who finds out that their parents were smuggling peas or some other food they don't like into food that they do. They feel betrayed, they feel angry, and they feel that they've been invalidated. So, any group that's validated uh, significantly can develop militants. And it's not so much that, in my opinion, I might add, it's not so much that uh, these people want to necessarily hate on other people. They don't. It's just that they are so afraid of losing their validation that they try and completely reorient uh, the world and their worldview to the thing that makes them feel secure. The thing that they know so well about themselves that they, as long as they've got this one thing, they can orient their entire reality around it and they'll feel fine. So if you ever hear about homosexual people acting like religious fundamentalists who say that there is no homosexuality, uh, or saying that there's no bisexuality or pansexuality or trisexuality, if you want to be fun, uh, there's nothing, or flexisexuality, uh, or there's no scales, there's just black and white, well, just look at what they're trying to validate. And I think you'll learn a lot about the individual, because it is all individuals, and you'll learn a lot about yourself. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I'm glad that you paid attention this long.